It's Madden NFL 24, and it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's all up next. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, a rematch from Super Bowl 57, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But CD, this Chiefs club, you'd have to imagine, well positioned to make a run at repeating as Super Bowl champions. But it all starts and ends with number 15, and that, of course, the reigning league MVP, Patrick Mahomes. And it's not just his talent, as you know, partner, because we've seen that on display. It's his leadership and the trust that the organization has in him to help bring along an offense and turn it into one of the league's best. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they made sure to lock up their signal caller in the offseason, Jalen Hurts, and probably a wise idea after he finished as a runner-up to Patrick Mahomes for league MVP. It certainly was a wise idea because now they have their signal caller for the foreseeable future. And think of the strides he's made since he entered the league. Everyone knew he could move it around with his legs, but boy, has he become accurate throwing the football. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here come the Eagles, the defending NFC champs, led out by a man who was the runner-up to Patrick Mahomes at MVP balloting a season ago. Of course, that's Jalen Hurts. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Good job there, pretty simple. The hole was created, runner just darted right through. Yeah, that's kind of play teams are looking for to have some success early in a ball game. If you're an offensive play caller, you mark that run down. Make sure you keep coming back to it throughout the game until they stop it. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 more on that one and another first down. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. From the 46, here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now third down and six to go. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Throwing his hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 23. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. And a short gain here down to the 22. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine.
Here's Hurts to throw. This is caught. It's Brown. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been... Now the red challenge flag makes an appearance as Andy Reid wants a second opinion. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. No question, he's so dangerous down here near the goal line. The safeties, they have to be involved in run support against a quarterback like this. And in turn, they're going to ask their teammates to be involved as well. On second down, Swift. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. They've gotten it to the four on this opening drive, but now they face a third and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Right off the bat, they start with a very solid, methodical 10-play drive. And you know me, I tend to look at things from the defensive side. They're coming off the field gassed right away. We're in the first drive of the game. So it's not just what happened, but think of the emotion you carry into a game, then double it with getting a 10-play drive put on you and points scored. They're pretty tired right now. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Sheds off the tackle. And they're going to have terrific field position as they finally get to him, but just shy of the midfield stripe. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. Mahomes going to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team that had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15.
From the 34 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. In trouble, and he's taken down. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. So now make that a second sack for them on this drive. And Brandon, we hear it every week when we go out to do a game. Everyone talks about playing complimentary football. Their offense goes down and scores. They see that, and they want to back them up, and that they did, getting two sacks on this first drive. Well, they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Throwing now is Mahomes. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively, and then they got hit with that big play. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They'll run it now with Gray. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. This is why I've never been a big fan of trying to get too cute down here by the goal line. For every one time something like this works, it seems like it blows up about ten times. And sure enough, they'll wind up losing yards here. A run by Pacheco on second down. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. This Eagle defense, they won't give in without a fight. This is third and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that is caught. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> but I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that, that's the, right? high that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied at seven. Seven here as the kicks away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Hurt's going to keep it running right, and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. And 
they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Uh -oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. the punter, Braden Mann. Kadarius Toney, deep for KC. It's taken to the 26. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Mahomes. Over the middle, complete. That's Rice. Gets this one in midfield before he's brought down. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. On first and 10, here's Pacheco. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. From the 42 now, here's second and two. Play action, now it's Mahomes. And this pass caught by Gray. And he'll get it down on the plane of the 37. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And his throw here is incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Now here's Mahomes. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that will be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Butker's kick here is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. These kickers now it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. 
that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Burt sets up to throw it. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up the first down. Now a throw here, hold in, and he'll be stopped right at midfield. 11 more on that one and another first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got Brown on the out route complete. Now he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. <laughs> you got to keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive. And here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Play action. Here's Hurts. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. It's dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Ask any pass rusher, and they'll tell you any quarterback who lines up every time and goes straight back in the pocket, that's who they want. But when they have to deal with a Jalen Hurts who may come at them from any angle and can get outside of the pocket and run, that's a nightmare for anybody who has to rush the quarterback. And I love Jalen Hurts' athletic ability. Almost a 4'6 runner. This guy can get outside the pocket and make plays with his legs as well as his arm. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Defense really sold out there to stop the run. Understandable down near the goal line. Now on second down, you have to wonder, might we see play action here and a flip right over the top? Swift again, and he's going to lose yardage again as he is stuffed behind the line. That second down play, that's a minus four. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal line. They think they're going to find a way into the end zone. He hasn't had that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Willie Gay getting in there and picking up the sack. He was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So a dozen plays on that drive, CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for. All 
level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense set to go. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Oh, a lot of credit to the play caller here. He saw the design in his mind and implemented it. A little zone stretcher here because they started the tight end on the left side of the formation and sent him on a crossing route. And this works really well where you can find that space between levels, and they were able to do so for good yardage. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Only took him three plays, and they're already in the red zone, just like that. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller, because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Second and 10, we're all knotted up at 10, but it appears that may change soon. Only question is, will they have to settle for three? And again, it's Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Watson. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Mahomes now to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. Butker's kick here is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made him kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. On the return, Boston Scott. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. A CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, 
but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the 33, here's second down and eight. Now Hurt's going to keep it running left. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Here's Hurts to throw. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a give right side swift. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Out route pass complete to Goddard. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 21. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. But first down, Hurts. And his throw's going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and ten. Throwing his Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They'll look to throw again. Taken down at the two-yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Oh, Brandon, that's a game remove right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here, give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. It'll be Hurts on the option. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. 
That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Elliott good with a PAT, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we see James, he will not return it and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs gonna go back on offense here late in this first half with his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Complete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so he wisely just gets rid of it. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we've got a football game going. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everyone, to our brand-new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle. We have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way.
The Super Bowl champs trailing here, but they will get the ball first to begin quarter number three. And this taken in at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Quick throw caught out wide by Valdez Scantling. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They go play fake. Mahomes. Throw left side. Completion to Rice. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, so far, a little bit more resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Mahomes now on first down. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. When you're a great route runner, it makes you that much better as a receiver because now your quarterback trusts that you're going to be where he expects and he's able to deliver the ball on time. Butker now to add the extra point. And that one gives him a three-point lead. So that drive, four plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Pass incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hurts sets up to throw it. Sliding. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. So the opening drive of this third quarter, they're trying to set the tone for the second half. And without a doubt, they did exactly that. I've known coaches who have said the first five minutes of each half are so important to do exactly what you said, which is set the tone. I've also heard coaches talk about the first five plays. Let's go out and be aggressive right off the top. That's exactly what they did. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard, and he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. They pick up 10, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. The Eagles send out their punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. On the return, it's Tony. 
Well, following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Got an open man, it's Valdez Scantling. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. So what do you do if you've got a defensive cover three and trying to keep everything in front of them? The answer seems obvious. Just work those routes in front of them. This is going to be a hitch route, but he's operating in plenty of space, and he makes the catch here for a first down. Meanwhile, the home slow here complete to Kelsey. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. He finds his receiver, Watson. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now here's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And yeah, the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Pacheco once more. And this time he'll get down close to the goal line, but not quite in as he stopped at the one-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. Mahomes going to throw. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. A one-yard touchdown pass. And they are able to add on to their advantage. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because... You have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he 
returns this to the 22. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and three. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that, oh, nearly picked off. But it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Well, so many times defensive backs get caught playing the man rather than the football, but not in this case. That's an excellent play. Did exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the football and help break up the pass. And yep, as a result, knocks it down. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Here comes the seventh play now in this drive, as this is third and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. Forced out to his left. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll try it now with Swift. They're able to push his way through. Still fighting for more. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Now hang on here because DeAndre Swift injured on that last play and in need of a little assistance. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Now the third-year man. Here's Kenneth Gainwell. And now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Call it a gain of six on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. Brown, the lone receiver left.
throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles are back within a score. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Mahomes throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and they'll be left with second and a couple. A man who re-signed with the Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. They need two. Here's third down. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call. And they got awfully close. Now we're fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. That's taken on the 25. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Wide receiver A.J. Brown, you see he and the rest of his mates returning to the field here. He's been his typical solid and reliable self, hasn't he, Charles? When you have that go-to receiver that you can count on in the situation where you absolutely have to have him, and there's nothing better for anybody who's throwing the football. But the best part is the payoff. Two touchdowns already. That's the bottom line when you throw the ball to a guy. Absolutely. Not over 100 yards right now, but he does have the two touchdown catches. A third quarter action from Kansas City. Second down and 10. He'll look to throw. Out route and it's complete to Brown. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Throwing his hurts. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. Here's James returning. 
It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that, but the rushing game almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and seven. We're back now in KC. Pacheco gets it up the gut. It's been a very highly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And that pickup on the first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating defensively. You're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or a takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Mahomes now on first down. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. From the 47 now, to work with a second and seven. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. Here we go. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He's going to go for a big play downfield. That is incomplete. After what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Second and ten. Toss right side to Pacheco. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. He was close to flirting with that sideline, but able to stay in bounds like you know his coach wants him to do and keep that clock moving. Isn't it funny that we're watching this play when we had that discussion just yesterday about this? What do you do in this scenario? What do you, you know, what's your mindset? Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are right back in this football game. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. You always worry about those small receivers running through that gnarly patch of land in the middle of the field. But he did a really nice job there holding on to the football and protected himself as best he could while completing the play. On first down, Hurts. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That's 
George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Hurts throws complete to Goddard, and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route. Letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Let's face it, the focus is going to be, at the end of this play, on the big-time gain, right? He lined up on the left and worked his way all the way to the right before the perfect pass found him. But how about the offensive line and the protection to give him enough time to work his way all the way across the field? We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one-score game, first and ten here. They'll set up to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll look to throw again. Being chased out left. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try and run here with Swift. the five. 90 yards on the ground here for Swift. He's got a first down as well. Well, that last run for a first down, it really shouldn't be the last straw for the defense. I don't care how many they've had in the box, they need to add more people. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Here's Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. A late turnover is so often the difference in a ball game. And here, the turnover leads to the go-ahead touchdown. So repeat after me, partner. You have to take care of the football. In order to protect the lead, you must take care of the football. Ball security. How many times do they have to say it? They've been preaching it since day one of camp, and it came back to bite them right there. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we see James, he will not return it and they'll bring it out to the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This linebacking core, they've done a good job of keeping that running game in check, haven't they? They certainly have, and what they'll also do when this game is over 
is thank the guys up front, the big defensive line, because they've kept them clean, so to speak, not letting blockers get to them, allowing them to run to the football and keep that running game bottled up. Now a throw here, hold in. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Here's Pacheco headed right. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Oh, I like that play call there. After a run for good yards, you get a defense thinking they'll go back to the well. So that's a great time to call play action and give your receivers a little extra edge, and they complete the pass there for another first down. Mahomes firing complete, and down inside the 15 he goes. 11 yards for number 11. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scanlon bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Well, this is really simple. Let's just say it. This quarterback is on fire. Touchdown after touchdown throwing the football. What a day for him. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Eagles offense and A.J. Brown headed back out there. When you're in a zone like he is, what's the conversation like on the sideline between he and his quarterback? Is that a one-way conversation of, hey, just keep getting me the football? It actually is probably a two-way conversation because he wants to keep getting him the football because he's seen the payoff. You know, getting the ball to that guy means yardage and, as we've seen, touchdowns in this game. So I think both of them get more and more excited about the possibilities as things continue on. Yeah, so far it's been over 100 yards and the two scores. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Burt sets up to throw it. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Here's a second and seven. They'll drop to throw. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, 
is going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Here's first down. They'll look to throw. Open man, that's Devontae Smith. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. He'll look to throw. Goes right back to Smith again. And Devontae going to pick up the Eagles first down as he'll get this down to the 36. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? Think you got to use one here, don't no you? No doubt about it. I'd use one right here. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and 10 now. Back to throw. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Here's second down. Back to throw. Out to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Michael Dana in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Brandon, that's just football 101. If you're out of the pocket, you've got to get rid of the football in this situation. You cannot take a sack in a two-minute drill. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to potentially send us to overtime. no good and instead of tying it up they'll remain down by three uh, we so often think of these kickers as automatic at any distance and it's just not the case because when you start talking about 50 plus yards it's still a tough one to connect on this one ends up no good and that should put to rest any chance of this game getting to overtime Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And that one will go down in the books as just a one-play drive and then three points tacked on to the end of it. Victory in the cards now for the Chiefs as they take a knee here. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. 